Hello! So I know it seems like there's been a lot of trans related content on this channel and it was something that I didn't actually really talk about a lot before but I'm trying to like own it kind of that sounds really like cringy and cliche anyway with that long ass preamble I'm gonna do some trans poetry today so before I actually read the poem I want to give a bit of context about it because I was thinking about this poem the other day I can't remember why I don't know why it popped into my head that I wanted to read this today but this poem that I wrote is called Trans Problems 101. So I wrote it in April of 2018 for a poetry evening that I put together with the LGBT Society and the Writer's Journal at my university. It was a really good night, it was such a good night, I had so much fun, everyone who performed was amazing, everyone had fun, it was really good. And then the first time I performed it was that same month, April 2018. To be specific, the 24th of April, which was two months before I started testosterone. I can't remember exactly if I had already had my first appointment and I was waiting to have my first injection or if I was still in the stages of waiting to even be seen. But either way, my first performance of this poem, I was pre-testosterone and I looked like this. <laughs> and yeah, so it was very much very relevant for that time and period. And then, two months later, I started testosterone and it was great and good and I didn't think about this poem until <laughs> the LGBT society under different committee, I had left committee by this point, they decided to do another poetry night and asked for people to perform and I volunteered and I remembered I'd wrote this poem and me being the lazy piece of crap that I am decided not to write anything new but to just read something I'd already written. <laughs> um, so I did that and there's one particular line which I will read for you now. I promise I will actually read the, the actual poem but there's one line which goes... So the poem has a kind of like turnaround and it gets a bit optimistic towards the end and it says but one day it will change and you will look your age with a voice low with boom and the second time reading that through i was at that point the second performance of this poem i was five months on testosterone and my voice had started breaking it was so much lower and that line in particular i realized wow wow it's it's happening i'm actually i'm creeping towards the optimistic end of my poem, I am getting there. And like, thank God that line is near the end because I was like, it just kind of like all hit me and I was like, holy crap, it's, I'm actually like progressing. It's just, it's hard to put into words. So that was kind of cool. And I want to read it again today. And oh, I wish, I wish I'd filmed myself reading this poem pretty and then five months on tea and then now. Cause that would be interesting but i know like in my own head my voice is lower than it was when i was five months on tea because now i'm like nearly a year holy crap <laughs> again that's another one where it just hits me that time is passing and i am actually growing <laughs> so yeah i'm gonna read this poem again a year on from my first ever time reading it and my first ever time reading it, I was very much living the life of what this poem is describing. Whereas nowadays, I am not so much living that life. And that's really cool. So here is Trans Problems 101. A floaty shirt, the perfect fit. In the chest when binded, not a chance when you sit. The button strain against wide hips and the fabric accentuates all the dips. A baby face, forever a curse, waiting in line for the club and it hurts to show them ID of a face and a name that's not yours. Their perception has changed, but they still let you through the doors. A lack of breaths, lungs never expanding, the material of a binder forever constricting, but without it it's worse than a lack of breath, so we'll make do and do our best. To live this life we've been given as it's not a choice and get clocked as trans all the time with your voice. That's not yet broken and dropped, and with it all chances of passing have been stopped. The sun is out and the shorts are on, 
pale white legs are basking in the sun, but people keep glancing and having a stare because there's only a small smattering of hair. Standing tall, but not enough, against the guys who tower at six foot, everything adds up to not passing and leaving you broken a mess and just hurting, but one day it will change and you will look your age with a voice low with boom and a chest completely smooth. You will pass 24-7 and it will feel like heaven to have no one know any different when they say, good morning, mister. Just to hold on for the day, that is true. Hold on tight for when you can be the real you. It's not the most amazing poem, I know, and also that was not the most amazing reading of it. Like, you can tell I've not read it in a while. <laughs> um, yeah, it's not the most amazing poem, but it's, I don't know, it's kind of special, I, I guess, in a cringy, cheesy way. I'm gonna stop now. Life can progress. Life just goes on. And sometimes you pay too much attention and worry, all that jazz. And then sometimes you stop paying attention and realise the good things are actually happening. And it's nice to just stop sometimes and actually recognise that good stuff is happening and you're progressing. Which is good. I don't know what, like, that end speech was. <laughs> Goodbye.